Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Trust that God's given you a great week so far. But let's pray and ask His blessing on our time. Father, we thank You for the day You've given. And uh, Lord, we ask today that You'd help us as we come to Your Word, uh, that You would speak to us and help us in our Christian lives, that we would do what we should and uh, live appropriately for Thee. Uh, but God, we love You, and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. A welcome again to our weekday family devotions. Let's open our Bibles, if you would, uh, to Proverbs chapter number 10. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10. Uh, there is much to be said here about one's speech. For instance, in verse number 11, the Bible says, The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. And I want my, I want my speech to be always pleasing to the Lord. I want my mouth to, to help produce, uh, to, be a, to be a blessing and an encouragement to others, to be health and strength. Um, I don't want it to produce violence or hurt or any such thing. The Bible says this in verse 18, considering our lips. And listen carefully. He says, He that hideth hatred with, his, um, with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. He says, in the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. You know, oftentimes we just talk and talk and talk, and it causes more problems than good. He says, in verse number 20, he says, the tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. And that's where I'd like to focus here today. Verse 21, again, we read it. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. How, how are your words described? If, if definition can be made or extended to your words, how would they, uh, how would they be described? Would they be words of righteousness? Uh, do your words feed many or do they starve many? You know, there are people that I just enjoy being around. Uh, people... Uh, that are, are not necessarily my peers, but uh, people who are older, men who are older and much wiser than I am, uh, because their words, as I sit and listen, they feed me. I just like to be around people and listen to them and be encouraged and, and grow in my life. Are, are those the kinds of words uh, that are indicative of your life? Um, do, do your words feed or do they starve? Do your words help or do they hurt? Uh, do your words uh, do your words build or do they destroy? And and may God help us today with our words. Consider your words today. The Bible says the lips of the righteous feed many, uh, but fools die for want of wisdom. Uh, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Don't want just want wisdom. Seek it out. Look for it. We find wisdom right here in God's word. Uh, we find wisdom. Uh, with our elders, we find wisdom with people who have more life experience than us. But the reality is, you can use your words today, whether you're young or whether you're old, uh, to be a help and an encouragement to others because that is what righteous people do. The Bible says, The lips of the righteous feed many. If you're righteous today, this means that you are a, a child of God. That, that you have accepted Christ as your Savior, that you know the Lord personally. Thus, as we consider this, we must, um, we must use our words uh, to point other people to Jesus Christ. Today, you can point someone with your words to Jesus Christ. I hope you'll take me up on that challenge. Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, we ask that you'd help us today uh, to... Uh, to use our words um, to help others come to know Christ. Lord, that our words would feed many. Lord, that our words would be a help, that they would not hurt. Uh, but Lord, that uh, you'd help us be very... Uh, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, God? Uh, very purposed and intentional with what we say. And so, God, we love you. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us 
It's a pleasure to have you. I'm praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.